Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything related to Alphabet Inc. That's the company that owns Google, Waymo, Jigsaw, Tinky Winky, and Lala. Okay, maybe not those last two. I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar, and you are the fantastic audience. Today's top stories include even more Pixel news and Google promising it won't try to kill you. But first up, let's head on over to Lens Lane. Google Lens is a really cool feature. It seems as though someone at Google figured out that the super awesome thing that can identify what your camera's looking at was a tad bit difficult to find. I think we have some footage of how that meeting went. So I hear you have an app idea for me. Yes, sir, I do. You see, people find it difficult to find Google Lens. Oh, really? Well, yeah, to get to Google Lens, you have to launch Assistant and then hit that gray and white icon that nobody knows is Lens. Right. Or you have to go to Google Photos and click the camera icon that nobody knows is Lens. Oh, uh, the camera icon is tight. It is, but I want to make an app that launches Google Lens without bringing up any other apps. Is that going to be difficult to make? Actually, super easy, barely an inconvenience. So it's here, Google Lens, the app. There are no bells and whistles for the Lens app compared to what you see in Assistant, but it is quicker to launch since you only have to hit the app icon to get it going. Google Lens is capable of identifying text, products, books, places, and barcodes. Here's just one example. You can point your camera at text on a flyer or a menu. Then you can select the text, either copy and paste it into some other doc, or you can use it for a Google search. Google Lens is in the Google Play Store and costs a whopping $0. By the way, Google did announce that Lens will be a part of the default camera apps in phones made by LG, Motorola, Sony, Nokia, OnePlus, TCL, Asus, and Google. Next up, let's head back to Pixel Park. Even more Pixel 3 stuff. XDA Developers Forum member Miraz9000 posted pictures of what looks like a Google Pixel 3 XL prototype, and guess what? It matches up with that Bloomberg report we mentioned last time. There's a notch on the top with two cameras. On the bottom is that chin. On the back is a single camera. You might be thinking, wait, wait, what's that logo on the bottom? That's not the Google G. One, don't call me G. Two, the good folks at 9to5Mac did some detective work and found an old image of Pixel 2 prototypes that Google published. Take a look at that blue fellow on the right. Zoom in and in. Now, let's compare that image to the logo on the XDA leak. Pretty similar, right? The editor-in-chief of XDADevelopers.com asked Miraz9000 for more pics, and he gave them a bunch. This prototype does not have the headphone jack, which is a real bummer. The back is glass, which suggests wireless charging, but that's not a given. The Pixel 3 is expected to launch in October. Next stop, we're not going anywhere yet. We've got a leak, potentially. Anyway, a tweet by Roland Quant is making the rounds. In it, he says, Google is working on a mobile device based on the Snapdragon 710, currently scheduled for launch in the first half of 2019. Sounds like this might be the upcoming mid-range Pixel phone. How reliable is Mr. Quant? That's kind of hard to quantify. <laughs> There's also an older report from the Economic Times that says Google is working on a mid-range Pixel that could launch in July or August. Now, does it make sense for Google to introduce a third kind of Pixel with a third generation of Pixels? Well, yeah, it's a headline that writes itself. Google introduces three Pixel 3s. Also, a lower cost Pixel would make many old Nexus fans happy while giving Google a chance to grab more market share. Next stop, Policy Promenade. Google says it's not trying to kill you using its AI technology. Google CEO Sundar Pichai published a blog post titled AI at Google, Our Principles. In it, Pichai says Google will not pursue AI in four areas. One, technologies that cause or are likely to cause overall harm. Two, weapons. Three, technologies that gather or use information for surveillance, violating internationally accepted norms. And four, technologies whose purpose contravenes widely accepted principles of international law and human rights. The post goes on to say, we want to be clear that while we are not developing AI for use in weapons, we will continue to work with governments and the military in many other areas. This post looks like a reaction to reports of Project Maven. Project Maven is a Pentagon drone program that uses Google AI tools to analyze drone footage. Google is still in that deal, but said it will not renew it once it terminates in March 2019. Next up, Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we point a spotlight on our awesome audience, talking about the Pixel 3 XL's potential notch. Kenny92 said, if the notch can be hidden, why are so many people making such a big deal about it? Just turn off the notch. You know what? That's a really fair point. Speed Racer might have some insight saying, I don't know anyone who wants that sliver of extra screen in exchange for the ugly notch. 
Ellis Antia said, enough with the notch already. The notch is a boring, useless feature. I don't get why the phone designers imagine that so many people think, oh great, I waited so long to display something on each side of my top front facing speaker. Now, like I've said before, one day we will all look back at notches as the mullet of phone design. It was a trend that should happen only once, never to return, ever. That does it for us. Big thanks to Ryan George and the folks at Screen Rant for that pitch meeting. Check out their stuff at youtube.com slash Screen Rant and follow Ryan on Twitter. He's at the Ryan George. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to know when we add more episodes, click that bell to get notifications. If you click other bells, you might hear a ding, but you won't get notifications about this show. I'm Aya Zach Tarn, and I'll see you online. Oh, you're still here. Great. So, there's a report that says the Samsung Note 9 will be unveiled on August 9th. This isn't official yet. It's supposed to have a better camera. Another outlet said the Note 9 was delayed because a VP wanted the glass on the front of the device to be 0.5 millimeters thinner. Do you think that's true? Let me know in the comments. Okay, bye.